can't do this or this won't work. Um, I could never. So the thoughts in my head, they're not necessarily the truth. They're just a thought. The feeling of overwhelm could last days or weeks rather than perhaps an hour or a day now. Help you work through challenges in your life. It doesn't matter where they are. Noticing when I was doing it and then being able to switch or flip the story. I was able to buy a house finally by myself and I don't think I would have gotten there without Lee helping me shift the way I thought about money. Family that she creates around you is just so helpful for like uh, gently pushing you forward without ever feeling like you're being judged. Uh, put together a, a toolbox. Learn stuff about yourself that you didn't know before. Put myself out there a lot more and just be happy doing things. The quite major depression and anxiety episodes I was having and panic attacks are virtually non-existent now. And Lee's not a psychologist or a therapist or anything, but by working with her and not feeling like my emotions are in control of me. Lee finds a way to make it work for you, so she's really adaptable as well. Good value stuff. I saw that Lee had been through a lot of change in her own life, um, which was similar to me and the changes that I had been experiencing. So I thought it would be um, a really good thing to give a go at the opportunity thinking it was perfect timing for me to start putting some goals in place and making some changes. really interested because um, having been a stay-at-home mum for quite a while I was kind of starting to wonder what like my purpose in life was and was I achieving enough and I started kind of completely overthinking it um, and so I thought well this might be a really amazing way to kind of I guess talk with someone about all my feelings and what I was wanting to achieve in the direction that I wanted to go in. I heard about Lee from my wife and she had had some good results doing one of Lee's programs. I was quite hesitant about doing the course, but it was good to, once I got into it, it's good. I've been wanting to make changes for a long, long time and I've done so much therapy, but I just couldn't seem to shift and one of the things that Lee sort of said when she reached out about what she was offering was around motivation and how it doesn't come down to motivation. It can be impact, impacted by the influences that you have. And it was just a massive light bulb moment for me. Lee is a friend of mine and we have many great conversations about mindset. Um, but the thing about that is you can't recognize your own patterns. So to have somebody else do that for you and be that objective um, or, or that mirror and pick up the cues is just really helpful because I can't see it for myself. My main goal was to free up clutter in my mind from spending too much time and energy thinking about work and trying to solve problems when I'm not at work. and stamp out the stress that's associated with it. I'm talking a bit more and also not overthinking everything. Working towards merging my project management business with um, another company. I've gone from being self-employed and quite terrified of having employees to merging the business and now having a small team of staff. It was to prioritize what's important to me and just do it. Um, I found myself procrastinating often about things that I knew were really good for me and really wanted to do, but just spent a lot of time ruminating and then not, um, not actioning. My perception around who I was um, to the people in my life now feel a lot more worthy um, and that people want me in their lives and I didn't have that, that kind of thinking beforehand. The second one for me is around financial. I had had a really tough time for a very long time with managing my finances. Achieving a particular level with my netball umpiring, um, like just confidently setting all these milestones along the way. Be more resilient and things are not overwhelmingly overwhelming me 
in the way that they used to. Actively identifying stress and working to get rid of it. And I perhaps don't delve as deep and get down sort of the spiral as much as I used to into that thought. And I'm yeah aware of the thought and can get myself out of it into a better place, perhaps easier. And really helpful for my need for everything to be perfect before I start um, because like I, I seem to have this need to like know everything about something before I'll give it a try and like when I find myself um, going into negative thought and feeling overwhelmed it's much easier to come out of that feeling. I've been a lot calmer because I know when something emotional happens I don't have to be consumed by those emotions. I can actually breathe and take stock and systematically approach things from there. Her strategies to helping you achieve what you want to are quite simple and easy to implement. She has the ability to make connections with everybody that she meets um, and because she makes you feel so welcome and so included um, it just puts you in this space where you can kind of like look deeper. Her program works, it's accessible, it's fun and um, it works in with with your time. Lee can introduce you to lots of other like-minded people and who are going through the same sort of process. Um, so you feel like you're in it together. And small, doesn't have to be crazy big things. Lee makes it easy to start the mindset work. It's not overwhelming um, and you don't feel pressured if you're not doing um, the mindset homework exactly right. Lee finds a way to make it work for you. Just keeping you accountable and uh, cheerleading you on. Really good everyday life examples that she can share to help you understand the concept. It's like there's never any kind of impression that those are wrong. Um, you know, there's just this like gentle questioning of, well, why do you feel that way? Do you think that there could be another alternative that you haven't considered? Um, and yeah, I just, I love that environment. Lee can help you identify areas in your life you need improvement. Um, she'll help you set goals and actively work towards your goals. And I just keep thinking of Lee all the time and, oh yeah, I can do it. I can get back into it. It's easy. Just little steps at a time. Like, yeah, it's stuff that can be done and fit, fit into everyday life. So I've recommended Lee to a number of friends and also encourage them just to talk to Lee so that they can see just how approachable and easy she is to talk to so that it's not such a big, scary obstacle for them to make the changes that they want to make in their lives. Oh, and she'll have your back. Been able to write in a journal. <laughs> I knew I wasn't achieving the goals that I was setting for myself and I couldn't work out why. But the side benefit from the work I've done is that my mental health has shifted massively. So I started in the individual um, course and then I've moved into the group setting and I found the connection um, with the other people in that group really valuable. I ended up actually going out and finding the time to go walking for 5k's every day which has now built into or has now morphed into like I can comfortably run 5k um, and I think that without the mindset work like I just would have gone down into this horrible spiral and nothing would have been achieved. So then suddenly I was gone from not playing anything to playing three volleyball leagues, which was, yeah, that was cool. I've been able to put myself out there a lot more and just be happy doing things and happy in myself in the way that I want to do it. Didn't even like myself. I um, used to beat myself up a lot and the shift in my perspective and mindset on things means that I've actually moved from not liking to myself to liking myself and I probably actually love myself now um, and it's been the ability to be so completely honest with Lee, what's and all 
and for her to help me understand that I can be human and that I'm allowed to be human and that's part of um, life and I don't have to be perfect and I don't have to be a robot who doesn't feel anything and me being me is awesome and people actually like who who I am and I didn't expect that to come out of the work I'm doing but it's pretty cool. A mindset coach is like a transformation bringer. A mindset coach is someone that can help me understand what's going on in my head and you know all those different thoughts and how they relate to actions. She helps me get clarity on what's really going on and then to understand where those emotions are coming from so that I can actually respond in a way that's true to me and helpful for me rather than just what could be a really negative response. Lee will help you work through challenges in your life that doesn't matter where they are or problems that you've got. There's ways to change your thought process, setting goals and working towards goals. Mindset coaching has helped me um, filter out a lot of the noise in everyday life. Someone who can sort of listen to the way that you think and is able to pick up on your patterns and the, the way that you think and reflect it back to you and, and is, is kind of your biggest cheerleader for, for changing those patterns if they need to be changed, right? And keeps you accountable to, to doing that. A mindset coach for me is somebody who um, helps you see the, like the way that you're interpreting the world um, and just kind of helps you, I guess, steer towards um, like looking at what you've been thinking and I guess evaluate whether that is the truth or if it's just like your perception on it. Supportive, welcoming and very knowledgeable in her field. Friend, resilient, jolly. <laughs> Relatable, um, confident uh, and it's not just welcoming, maybe inclusive. Um, you know, like I think for Lee, no matter who that person is, she can find a way to connect with them and make them feel like they're valued and important. So I don't know, it, does a word spring to mind for that? Embracing. Embrace, embracing, that's a good one. Enthusiastic, honest and helpful. Who that jumped to mind immediately would be open and encouraging. Warm, empathetic, and I can't think of the right word, but just have an amazing ability to listen and play back what's actually the key component of a lot of rambling. Adaptable. What did I say? The words. What were my words? Can you remember? Supportive. Dependable. Adaptable. Maybe creative as well. Yeah. There's a few oh. more. Lee? Support. Lee is supportive, encouraging and adaptable. Well, I've definitely discovered I can run, which probably sounds a bit silly to some people, but was a massive deal for me. Um, because it's an excuse that I've hidden behind for a very long time. I never considered myself a natural leader, but I've had quite a lot of good feedback from the team that I work with that I do actually do quite a good job. Just that I'm not shying away from saying what I think as much. Um, perhaps a bit more confident in myself. I've realized that I'm really resilient and uh, what I've been through in my life has created that resilience. That I'm a lot more settled now. Uh, maybe that I'm more resilient than I thought I was. I can be a leader. I didn't think I was a leader, but Lee's helped me identify that what I do in my 
everyday life through work and home activities is that I am I am a leader and I can lead people. I just seem to be slowly and steadily getting on with um, achieving things rather than being on a big emotional roller coaster. I never liked putting my hand up to answer questions or you know jump in on the spot, but that's something I've been able to do a bit more. I used to say to Lee, I'd find the five million reasons why something wouldn't work or was too risky. So um, he's noticed that I'm more likely to openly consider an idea um, and not immediately jump in with a negative response. Like a lot of the things I thought about myself, then I used to like say to my say about myself and keep like repeating and reaffirming. Actually, I had the ability to look at those now and go, well, actually, no, those aren't true. And even though maybe I've been living that way for a long time, <clears throat> doesn't mean that it has to stay that way. I've also been able to share a lot more about you know, my thoughts and you know those deep sort of feelings with people that I didn't think I would be able to. I think perhaps I maybe don't get as affected by people that I'm able to separate what they're saying and not let it necessarily affect. It's not a criticism of me, it's just a criticism of let's say the organisation or something that's going on with them and nothing to do with me at all so not maybe not taking things as personally but like she hasn't changed you in a way like you've done all that yourself I think that's a really key point because you and I are still essentially the same people we were but we couldn't see our potential before working with Lee she's helped us see who we truly are inside and who we're capable of being without negative influences and negative thinking yeah. stopping us from from getting there so it's changed but it's changed to who we truly are inside rather than becoming a different person yes that I can commit to things I've committed to this mindset program and I've really enjoyed it Maybe I need to add that, that I can now cope with these things and go, actually, it's okay that the kids are being really noisy right now. I heard about Lee from Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. She forced you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is to do with mindset, hey? Right, so you need to say that without bouncing. <laughs> So, uh, don't do an interview on a bed. <laughs> that was but when I was in... it's, it's in there, but explaining it quickly is quite difficult. There you go. No, you go. There's no way I would have been like this two years ago. Um, I, I wish I could remember it. And, you know, like, it's, like, right there. And I'm like, come on, brain, we can do this. Vulnerable. Mm. How does that play into? Yeah. This is being recorded. You're on it now. Hello, Leah, is there anything we haven't talked about that you kind of had come to mind when you were thinking about us and what we might say? No, you, you guys have blown my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not just my old little ego that's ballooning over here, but actually, like. <laughs> The fact that you guys can see what you've done is like, I'm so excited. <laughs>